Leg wraps, putties, winningers, bean vinsels, shin burritos, call them whatever you like. No plausibly historical outfit would be complete without this popular clothing accessory. So how the hell do you put them on? Now for the average person, it can be as simple as just put the damn things on. STUPID! But, I've lost count of the amount of times my leg wraps came loose on me out there on the battlefield. And I've attributed it to just having bigger calf muscles than most people. So I came up with another method to wrap them on that keeps them on nice and firm throughout the entire day. Let me show you. Okay, firstly, here's the most common way to put on leg wraps. Yes, I am wearing modern shoes. So what? They're nice and comfortable. Just shut up and watch the video. Take your leg wrap. Start at the bottom. A lot of folks when they do this, they start with a leg wrap underneath the foot. You can do that if you like. I don't like it at all. Yeah, I like the arch of my foot to be nice and clear. So I'm just going to start at the ankle and work my way up. Crap, nice and firm but not too firm. Up to the top. in underneath from the top yeah. so it's tucked in nice and tight nice and firmly underneath the yeah see if you Let's see if you can see this You see here, with calf muscles like mine, you're gonna have this loose overhang. And that's always been a problem for me. My leg wraps always tend to come loose around these areas, slick down, or it comes undone from up the top. So, I came up with another method of putting on leg wraps. I'm gonna put it on my right leg. Let me show you. So here's my method. Start about here, just above the ankle. Come down. About as low as you want to go. Now start coming back up again, following the contours, the natural contours of your leg and the calf muscle. Just whichever way it wants to sit. So it's nice and flush without leaving this overhang like this. Okay. Yes, it's going to leave gaps, but we're going to come back down over that. Still following contours of the muscle, it wants to come back up, that's okay. Right. Now we want to tuck this in somewhere, somewhere that's already been doubled over. And it's right at the front. We want it to be at the back if, if possible, so we can fold it in on itself. And just tuck it in.
I know it's not quite the back of the leg, but you know, this way. Close enough. Yeah. There we are, nice and firm, nice and form fitting. Much less likely to come undone in the heat of battle. Sorry about the bad recording in the dark, but I guess some people are considered essential services, so uh, quite often I don't get an opportunity to record until in the evenings, and because I live in a plateau, it gets really dark really quickly. Anyway, so that's a method that works well for me. Other people like to use pins and ribbons to secure the leg wraps on, but I'm more of a minimalist, so I don't go that far. What do you use? Whack it down in the comments. I'd like to find out. Later on in the future, I'd like to compare different methods and put them under a stress test and see what actually does work best for big calf muscles. Okay, see you in the next video. Go to another clip!